So my work schedule really prevents me from uploading more than one video a week. But you guys seem to really be enjoying the stuff on meta sounds in Unreal Engine 5 Early Access. So I did want to dive back into some more meta sound stuff. And this one's going to be kind of quick. Uh, in this video, we're actually just going to be setting up a footstep system using meta sounds. Now, this is something that I've covered in Unreal Engine 4 using sound cues. You can actually check the card that just popped up here for that. But because the sound cues and the meta sounds are a little different, I wanted to then go into how to set this up with meta sound. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button along with the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. And if you'd like to be a part of the Sound Effects Guide Discord server, you will find a link in the description below. With that being said, let's get started. All right, so this is pretty simple to set up. Uh, so I've already got my MetaSound plugin enabled, and I'm just gonna come in here to my content browser real quick and just create a new folder and call it Footsteps. And this is gonna be a relatively short uh, example. Uh, so I've already got 10 footsteps that I'm just gonna go ahead and drag in here. And we're gonna go ahead and save those. And we're gonna right click and under sound, we are going to create a meta sound and call it footsteps. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. And the first thing that we wanna do is we want to go down and set up a wave player. And from there, we can come up here to our inputs and we're just gonna add another input. And I'm gonna call this footsteps. Under type, it is going to be a wave asset and we're gonna make it an array. Now, because I have 10 footsteps, I'm gonna go ahead and add 10 elements here. And from there, I just need to then put in my footsteps. So we'll do footstep one, footstep two. And this is actually a quicker way to do this is if I take my content browser here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and dock this. And if I click on a step and then click this little arrow button, it automatically puts it in there. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Got four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and finally 10. And I just wanted to do 10 assets so that we had a little bit of variation. And so what we're gonna do is off of our wave asset, we're gonna pull off and we're going to random get. And then the array, we can get that footstep array that we created. So we'll go ahead and play. On next, it will play that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and switch this to a stereo so that I can go ahead and these in. Typically I would do footsteps as a mono. Um, but this is just a quick example. So with this setup, if I come up here, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and just make this a little bit louder just so you guys can hear it. So we've got our input it, from our wave player. It's getting a random element from this array. We can also on finish, go to the on finished. And to, if you wanna give this a little bit more variation, what you can do is you can pull off the pitch shift and we are going to do a random float. And this may be too much for what you need. Um, but just as an example, I'm gonna set the, the minimum to minus 10 
and the maximum to 10. And then we can pull off our input here into next. And now when we hit play, So you can hear it's not only pulling from those 10 sounds to give variation, it's also randomly pitch shifting some of those uh, variations. So we're gonna go ahead and save this. And we can go ahead and close that window. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come into our animation or our mannequin. And I'm just gonna do this on the run. Typically, if you were setting up a game, you would have different sounds for every single animation. Uh, but this is just a quick guide for setting up footsteps. So we're gonna scrub through here and find where the foot hits the ground. It looks like it's about there. And then on our notifies track, uh, we're gonna go ahead and right click, add notify, play sound. And then we can scrub through to where the next foot hits, about there. And we're gonna do the same. I want it right on that line. I'm gonna go ahead and play sound. And then if we select our sound up here in the sound category, uh, we're gonna go ahead and type in footstep. And you can see that we have our meta sound there. And we're just gonna go ahead and do the same for the other one. Well, if I could type right, there we go. And so now we have our footstep meta sound being notified every time this animation crosses that point. So then if we go ahead and hit play, and we can go ahead and save that, jump back into here, and then as we run around, So that's really all there is to it. Uh, it's a super simple setup, um, but because meta sounds operate a little differently than sound cues, I just wanted to show that off. And I am gonna be diving into like material identification, which I did cover with Unreal Engine 4, but we're also gonna be doing an updated version with Unreal Engine 5. And, um, but I just wanted to give you guys a, a quick setup for basic footsteps. If there is anything that you'd like to see, let me know in the comments below, or you can join the Sound Effects Guy Discord server and get a hold of me there. Until next time.